Good morning. As you know, here at the ABC, we are very interested in creating uh, digital movies. And this is my entry for next year's digital Oscar. I want to get it in early and be ready. I want to talk to you about IGCSE investigations. You are about to start the IGCSE course when you return in August. And today, as preparation for that, we want to talk to you about investigations. Now, IGCSE Mathematics has got three papers. There is paper two, which is a non-calculated paper. There is paper four, which is a long paper, two hours, 15 minutes. There is a paper six, which is worth 20%. Now today, I want to look at the investigation part of that paper. Now, investigations are things that you have already done in Key Stage 3, but I want to remind you, in particular, of what is required on this paper at IGCSE. First of all, you need to take your investigation and you need to generate some data. That means you need to get your own data. You need to make sure that data is correct, and this is really, really important. Because if your data is wrong, you will not be able to look for patterns, you will not be able to write them as formulas using algebra, you won't be able to test your formulas, and you will have no chance of explaining why they work. So, getting the right data is really, really important. When you've got the data, you look for patterns, you try to find algebraic formulas, you try to test those formulas, and if you can, explain them. So, this morning, I'm going to talk to you about an investigation called 7x plus 9y is equal to 100. Now, there is some explanation here that I'm about to go through, but this is a mathematical language investigation. And if you are fluent in speaking mathematics, you may well understand from this what the investigation is about. But really, we generally try to explain the investigation using normal language as well as using mathematical language. So, what we're looking for here is integers which add up to make 100, that's where the 100 comes from, where one of the numbers is a multiple of 7, that's why we're writing 7 times x, and the second is a multiple of 9. That's why we're writing 9 times y. And the sum of those must make 100. Now, you can use positive and negative numbers, but they must be integers. I hope you are all clear what we mean by an integer. An integer is a whole number. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But it also includes 0, and it includes negative numbers. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. All of those numbers are integers. You cannot use fractions and you cannot use decimals. I know that you all know what multiples are, but just to remind you, the multiples of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42 and 49. And the multiples of 9 are 18, 27, 36, 45 and 54. They are the numbers that 7 is a factor of. And here, the numbers that 9 is a factor of. So, for my investigation, I'm now going to try and generate some data. So, my first step is to take integers which add up to make 100. So, 1 plus 99 makes 100. 2 plus 98 makes 100. But, is this a multiple of 7? No. Is this a multiple of 9? Well, actually it is, yes. But I want both of the situations to be working. I want this number to be a multiple of 7 and that number to be a multiple of 9. So, I'm going down and I'm realising very quickly that none of these numbers are going to work because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are not multiples of 7. Here's the first one that is a possibility, 7, because 7 is a multiple of 7. But is 93 a multiple of 9? No, it's not. Now, I'm not going to bother with 8 and 9 and 10 because I know they are not multiples of 7. So the next one I'm going to try is 14. So 14, correct, that's a multiple of 7. But is 86 a multiple of 9? No, it's not. 21, of course, that's a multiple of 7. 
Is that a multiple of 9? Is 79 a multiple of 9? No, it's not. Now, here is my first solution. 28 is a multiple of 7, and 72 is a multiple of 9. Because 7 times 4 is 28, and 8 times 9 is 72. Are there any more? I'm checking these. And they're not. None of these here are multiples of 9. So I'm now moving on, because I'm only up to 49. So now I'm going to continue. Here they are, 56. Now, I've highlighted the first one that I found, 28. And you can see, checking down here, the next one is 91 and 9. 91 is a multiple of 7, and 9 is a multiple of 9. So I've now got two different solutions. 28 and 72, and 91 and 9. How many solutions are there? Well, I've got 28 and 72, and I've got 91 and 9. I'm asking you the question now, how about minus 35 and 135? Is that a solution? Does it add together to make 100? Well, yes it does. Is minus 35 a multiple of 7? Well, yes it is, because 7 times minus 5 is minus 35. Now, normally, multiples are positive. But in this case, we are trying to find where 7 times an integer plus 9 times an integer makes 100. And 7 times minus 5 will make minus 35. And 9 times 15 makes 135. And those two work. So, let's go back now and just look at two of these solutions. First of all, the 91 and the 9. And I'm answering the question, why is this 7x plus 9y equals 100? Well look, x equals 13. 7 times 13 is my 91. y equals 1. 9 times 1 is 9. And there's my 100. And now, minus 35 and 135. x equals minus 5. 7 times minus 5 is minus 35. And then 9 times 15 is 135. And that gives me a total of 100. So you can see that x equals 13 and y equals 1, and also x equals minus 5 and y equals 15, are where 7x plus 9y is equal to 100. And we can find these solutions by looking at these multiples here, multiple of 7 and multiple of 9, which add together to make 100. Are there more? Well, we've found three so far. And there are more. Can you find them? Well, you need to go through and you need to look for them. However, we aren't going to continue this particular investigation. If we were, I could go through and I could find the different x and the different y integers where 7x plus 9y is equal to 100. And I could actually see a pattern in them. And I could write an nth term formula for them in terms of the x number and in terms of the y number. Why am I not continuing? Well, I'm not going to continue because you are now going to do a very similar investigation, except you're going to be using a different formula. You're looking for where 7x plus 11y is equal to 100. And your aim, just like mine was, is to find integers which add up to make 100 where the first number is a multiple of 7, and now this time, the second number is a multiple of 11. And you've got to try and find those x and y values. Now, you're going to start in a minute, and your teachers will be here to help you, but we really want you to try and do this by yourself, partly because you then have the fun of doing it, rather than someone else telling you the answers. So you're searching for the solutions yourself. Remember how I started, and try and start in a similar way. We want you then to see how far you can get. When you have done the investigation, or you think you've completed it, we want you to write it up on your computer at home, over the holidays, and then to include it on your digital portfolio at the start of next year. So in your digital portfolio, you will start with a mathematical investigation the sort of question that you might well get on a paper six.
So, as I disappear, I want you to be thinking of 7x plus 11y is equal to 100. And what patterns you can find in the x numbers and the y numbers which go together to make 100. Good luck and enjoy.